nature to survive. In this century, he is beginning to realize that in order to survive, he must protect it, says a famous quote of James. Yes, the more we preserve nature, the more happier is our life. With such a noble thought, let us start our today's program with Tamil Taiwan. Capabilities. He says, 
உங்களுக்கு ரமணா தெரியுமா தெரியாதுமா என்ன இல்லை அதில் வர்ற எந்த கொஸ்டின் அவன் கேட்டாலுமே சில ஈவன் ப்ரோக்ராம் கண்டக்ட் பண்ணுறவங்களால கூட ஆன்சர் பண்ண முடியலையே அவன் யார் வீட்டு உங்களுக்கு தெரியும் இன்னும் அவன் பெரிய ஆளா இல்லை எப்படி இப்போ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் தான் எங்கள் டீமில் தான் பார்ட்டிசிபேட் பண்ணுறேன் அப்படியா எனக்கு தெரியலமான்ட்டு அதுக்கப்புறம் அவனை பற்றி கேட்குற ஒவ்வொரு விஷயங்களுமே அவ்வளோ டீப்பாகவும் இன்வால்வாகவும் இருந்துச்சு பிஃபோர் திஸ் புக் இட்ஸ் அப் ஐ கேர்ட் அபவுட் டீம் பட் ஒவ்வொரு விஷயமும் என்னென்னா அவனுடைய மதரை மீட் பண்ணியிருந்தோம் மேடம் சொன்ன விஷயமும் என்னென்னா அவனுடைய டெப்த் ஆஃப் நேச்சர் லவ்விங் அது வந்து வேற யாருக்குமே இப்போ எங்களுக்குலாம் கூட இல்லை ரியல் இது ப்ரௌட் ஆஃப் யூ அவனுடைய ஃபோக்கஸ் என்னென்னா இப்போ இந்த ஏஜில் நேச்சரை டிஸ்டர்ப் பண்ணுறவங்க யாராக இருந்தாலும் வாட் இஸ் தி ஆக்ஷன் டு பி டேக்கன் லாமிக்கஸ் எல்லாமே அமைதியாக இருக்கிறத அவன் ஃபீல் பண்ணுறான் ஸோ ரியல் இட்ஸ் கோயிங் டு பி பிக் சேஞ்ச் இன் த ஃபியூச்சர் என் ஹி பிகம்ஸ் ஏ பவர்ஃபுல் பர்சன் ஆஃப்டர் டென் டு ஃபிஃப்டீன் இயர்ஸ் திஸ் வில் பி ஏ You will be really a big role model for many of our students and uh, we have planned this uh, even YouTube live in our school channel. So it's a very good and uh, surprise occasion for us. Thank you for being here. Next thing about our guests, reviewers, Chankari Madam. Uh, Madam is uh, having a big farm actually in our region and she is having an organic farming and she has patented many of our nature rice products for the last 20 years plus they are doing pure organic farming in their farms and madam is a very good reader of books and she has already reviewed many books and thank you for presenting her the next one is our principal sir mr suraj rahu who has been the principal in various schools and uh, even in cancer schools and he has vast experiences in book reviews and many activities even after reading the book he just like that said that means it's all a story is better than uh, the lion king ra madri na avangalukku feedback kodutadne sir ku vandu ketten sir lion king paathukave neenga solringala ante illa na lion king la paathadilla endranga so such a nice narration even idu vandu filming capacity ulla oru novel a irukku really paathu sir the review ella mudikumbodhu we will be knowing this adukapra memla da madam vera program ku engalukku vandirundanga மேடம் வந்து சொன்னதுனால அப்படியே ஓல்பட்டேன் தேங்க்யூ மேடம் ஃபார் பீ ஹியர் ஃபாதர் இனாசி சார் சார் தேங்க்யூ ஃபார் ப்ரெசன்ட் ஹியர் ஏடி மதியவானந்த் சார் அண்ட் ட்ரீ அப்புறம் நம்ம தூத்துக்குடி நேச்சர் கிளப் பிரசிடென்ட் மிஸ்டர் ராஜன் ஃபார் பீங் ஹியர் தேங்க்யூ சார் அண்ட் ஆல் தி நேச்சர் லவர்ஸ் வி வெல்கம் யூ அண்ட் யூ ஆஃப் தமிழ் பப்ளிக் ஸ்கூல் அண்ட் நெல்லை நேச்சர் கிளப் அண்ட் தேங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் பீங் ப்ரெசன்ட் ஹியர் வெல்கம் அகைன்
a great evening to all those who are present here. Thankfully, God, gratitude to all the sponsors and organizers of this congregation, I present before you a short review of the book Fire of Sumatra. What's very astonishing is the young author's idea and inspiration he has acquired and delivered to this book. Very generously dedicated to the guardians of the forest, that is, anyone who make right steps to conserve forests for the sake of the entire world. Rightly chosen by the Nature Club and the Atri, who are dedicated to conservation and uh, propagandize and let know how a fear has settled among the future generation. You know what the fear is? It is through Ramana, it is very much exposed. Righteously managed by the author, Master Ramana, the chapters from the start till the end alternates the places wherein the family of tigers dwell and their missing proportions Following that reveals the conversation between the tigers who express their difficulties and their dwelling, how they are segregated by natural events and man-made hindrances. There are mentions and details about how conservation agencies are on the move to protect tigers from any haphazard events of the wilderness. Parallelly, destruction and conservational steps are traveling in sensitive places, especially in India. It is an animal fiction. You could read the author's mind. That is, his knowledge about the titles. I wonder, I really see that is a miraculous thing that is instilled within him that he has taken the various aspects of animal lives. Of course, as I was told, have you ever seen the, anybody who has seen Lion King? I really saw the movie Lion King with my grandson and I know how the movie went. But here, I went sometime about the Lion King because of his picturesque images he has depicted in the book. His words, of course, is a standing, a budding author, but he was able to picturesquely depict how the breathing of the tiger and the hair moving in the wind, all those are very small factors when we are con uh, uh, concentrating on environment. But to be an author, because I am given, given a part of reviewing the book, I have to have this mentioned here. Because all the factors about the animal, uh, his looking about, his dying and his search of prey everywhere in all the chapters, and he has given rightly differentiated between the Indian tigers, Sumatran tigers and where uh, other island tigers and their characteristics. This needs to be a mention in the review. Therefore, I told you this initially. How fearful is their livelihood, that is, among the tigers, I mean. Throughout the book, the way they address any human being, you know, the bipeds. Yes, rightly told, the two-legged creatures, it is otherwise called bipeds. Normally, this, I have not come across this word before, and should rightly mention bipeds. That is, the tigers seem to say, bipeds, they are trespassing and they have got a fear instead in them. The, the conversation amongst the tigers revealed this. Of course, 
he has aimed this book to catch the youngsters who can even put a definite ending to these coaching and that is all environmental crisis if they think their future is important. He has rightly chosen this topic to be initiated and as a child uh, reading and uh, this uh, foresightedness really needs an applause. Yeah. Knowingly or unknowingly, a latent pressure to enrich the oil palms, that is uh, the oil palms on the way for the forest, they pave the way for the forest fires. Of course, when everybody will get a copy of this book, you will know what the oil palms have to say in this era. These oil palms, of course, and it is India who is the potential buyer of oil. That is, oil palms, I think you all know about it. And deforestation has happened in an illegal way. And this oil palms took the place of the forest. And trades have started flowing in between the islands and what happens across funds are flowing in between the countries and islands but who is suffering there it is ultimately the animals inside they are ignored and one part of the world shouts Ah, my tigers, our tigers, they are extinct, they are gone away. And one way, these things are really threatening in other way. And these things are not brought into the focus because trade is flowing, money is flowing. So, this part is rightly expressed by the author and we are indeed astonished by his knowledge about this and careful expression of words he has given this detail how this spoils the livelihood of the animals not only tigers mostly tiger conversations are um, read about in this book but there is a picture of the funeral among elephants I was really carried away because it was so uh, sad to even the expressions of him I should mention that this it was really sorrowful to see the carcasses and the more collective elephants surrounding that and they were living in sorrow because of the dead animal in Arvind's death. How it has been cast. See, rightly the author told, I is just focusing how this, some animals, burnt animals, they are getting into conversation. Some wounded animals, they are getting into conversation. They are just exchanging their views here and there. He is picturizing just like the scenes of the film just passes on to one side and the other side of the area. Don't we? I am not a constant film goer. But really, I went into the film of this fire and smoke. Right? Yeah. This uh, part of tiger conversation, they express the wounded animals, how they got it, and why they are. They even try to say we are three leg because of the bite So, I was really ashamed when we went through the term. Why don't they? And certain animals, that is, those who have escaped these things, that is, the vulnerabilities, those who have escaped, they try to want to uh, take a revenge on the bikers. And so, they are, at sometimes, they come to the land and they have their, what to say, I cannot uh, exactly name it to be a revenge or avenge, but they try to do something. Because you are the one who are disturbing us. And so now 
at um, certain places they are called man eaters but of course they are coexisters only really in the land of in the land of bharat that is india it has even projected tigers to be very holy and it was not a thing it was uh, what to say it was not less sacred but this story really told that is the conversation how the outrageousness have been <coughs> increased in the animals to just destroy the man uh, areas of men also so how many names how many names we have kept we have got by these animals and we are asking them to be animals so uh, all the relevant names are just getting crossed cross within the travel through the chapters we understand the territorial fights among the animals and men involved in poaching trafficking animal parts and in turn all black marketing procedures make a heavy toll over this issue even in the initial chapters we are learning about the alliance that is to save your that is to uh, save tigers that was also uh, as i told in the initial part that is parallelly both uh, things are traveling that the author has rightly expressed the alliance to save tigers is also mentioned and it has uh, it has made a head start from sumatra and indonesian islands a very obvious picture of the three leg immovable animals their carcasses uh, their mourning alarms of the tigers and the elephants even rhinos are picture i really want wonder about the expression of the author over an elephant funeral i told you and the group of them reacting to the situation you see the tiger themselves express they became orphans because of those bite pieces a tiger's death is very miserable first we lose our territory because of aging and we and uh, lose our teeth and lastly we starve to death see these are the words the author is trying to express how the animals are expand these are the scene he directly doesn't give as through the animals he make us feel how drastically these animals are left with all the six senses smell it could have been uh, very much better environment could have been given he make us think at times this is a great there is a great expression of the author who named tigers turning to man eaters i told you just before and and they also justify the tigers justify the first hunting of my um, of this tiger one i think his name is um, elisa i hope and um, he tries to foster her cubs so he kills a man very silently it is told by daughter and they just this because he wanted to protect the cubs of course it was justified and they say and another death that is another um, confronting thing about their uh, habitants is they are victims of the death hand what do you mean by death hand among the animals there's a talk what does it say it is the fire where the whole forest is disturbed with forest fire it is not natural fire forest fire it is done for the plantation of oil palms very nicely told i, I can express in tamil also the kutra ka neeradiya kutra nu sonna avanga manasu vartha padumo appdi solli 
இந்த மாதிரியா சொல்றதுக்கு உள்ள டெக்னிக் நம்மளுடைய இந்த புத்தக ஆசிரியருக்கு இருக்குங்கிறது நான் பார்க்கிறேன் ஆர்டியல் They are all really pictures description of the hassle the animals plea for life the witnesses cautioning the rest is regular happening in and saving them against all odds by the conservationists is very very photographed to the readers this really needs a mention here and positively ramana makes our eyes get lifted and widened through the speech of one silvia a field level researcher along with a team of volunteers expresses her gratitude uh, for the steps taken for the furthering of the protection of eliminating trade aspects through forest disturbing and the inhabitants farmers slaughtering the tigers and that is this silvia i told you is a is a um, researcher she is also um, resting in the forest and she studies whatever is happening there and she also gives a helping hand um, it is a miniature of ramana ko maybe he has not uh, he is um, trying to know everything but he has not entered into the research level even then his data is at that perfect that even ordinary readers could not have uh, taken into account and he has supplied with all facts all these things which are disturbing the environment and so through silvia's speech at the end of this uh, fiction he has tried to say he speaks his mind i should say that all these things that is the trade practices and the uh, illegal deforestation that is every country every the country of this world is facing unique problems in this matter and the environment is suffering uniquely in every country but there is a commonality commonality that is this disturbance of the forests and its inhabitants So, last but not the least, I uh, assure that his mission, that is his vision and mission, that is through the children, through uh, the young readers, he has started his mission working and I pray God and bless him with all, all Almighty's grace we showered on him to take up his mission and one fine day, he will have covered all these things whatever he has learnt about as a clean environment and very happy environment and uh, we also give way to the uh, animals who are also co-existers with us and let us be a model and I am really proud that I am Indian and be a model for everything and even in the conservation also. So with this words, I think I have covered all the, uh, see uh, as a reader, I will never have finished this book in a very short time. I really uh, feel for that, I couldn't get much of a time. Sorry if I have missed Ramana, any aspects if I have not mentioned here, but I wish this um, session could have more enriched with children who are lovers of pets, who are ardent animal lovers, they will also take this along with them. Of course, you people who are assembled here will take this as a mission to take the dream to be true. And it is not Ramana's dream alone, let us join hands to do this for the 
sake of the world and let India through Ramana be a model. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you, ma'am. And with your permission here, I just want to give a memento to the author. And She's my daughter. Thank you so much for the uh, sponsors and the uh, organizers for giving me this opportunity. Thank you so much. stage. I've had before me a renowned personality speaking who has given a very non-partial and an excellent review of this wonderful book, Fire of Sumatra. And chairman asked me, could you give a book review of this? And he gave his books uh, asking me to read the entire text. Uh, initially, I just started with it's one other book. That's how I started it to read it, but I was amazed, I was astounded at the manner in which a young mind, 14 years, yeah, 14 years, could write such a wonderful book. I, I don't know how many of you off stage have read the book. I request all of you, please read it. It really talks so much, it gives so much information. Of course, the entire, uh, uh, manner in which he has gone, the style that he has adopted uh, through the language of the tigers, he speaks a lot on what is essential and what is the need of the art. Uh, of course, uh, for the past several uh, years, uh, so many groups like ATRI has been talking about conservation, biodiversity and ecosystems. But uh, what we have to achieve is far more and the very word fire uh, you know there's a foreword given in which uh, there's a like a house on fire by Greta Thunberg uh, we have to really you know if you want to act you have to act as if your house is on fire I think it's very apt with this textbook and that is what he's trying to explain there are certain aspects which I have really loved and enjoyed uh, while reading his books and I would like to say that this book has been written in beautiful narrative style. The incidents of the story are wholly absorbing. It reflects the author's deep love for nature and the need to keep it safe. His deep concern for the destruction being caused to nature by man is well portrayed through his wonderful piece of literature, The Fire of Sumatra. And of course, uh, this wonderful word that he has used, bipeds, of course it's very negative but uh, the word that he's used is wonderful. That's how, uh, you know, we are. The, he is saying that word through the uh, words of the tiger, through the conversations of the tiger, where tigers refer to the human beings as bipeds. The depth of knowledge related to wildlife conservation is clearly seen through the pages of literature that he has written. The story is told with such freshness, intensity and power. There is complete control of the story and style and, uh, and uh, uh, certain lines and words that actually captivated uh, while by, by I was reading this entire text. I'd like to speak on those. The cubs had a spine-tingling, terrifying moment almost caught in the jaws of death with a pack of dolls ready to tear them apart if not for the appearance of the father tiger. This one incident where uh, the cubs are caught uh, by a pack of dolls and they are actually the doors of death, death 
and suddenly you see, uh, you know, the father tiger appears on the screen and he made a sharp sudden turns and attack the unexpected uh, doles which shows dynamic action that is well reflected in many parts of this entire story. Well, it tells us a lot. We also have to act like this tiger in dynamic action with the immense force to ensure that our ecosystems are safe for future generations. I think uh, this is one aspect which Ramana is trying to reveal through his uh, wonderful book. There's, there are other words uh, which I really love while reading. His deep knowledge of animals, his deep knowledge about wildlife is well reflected through this uh, uh, wonderful uh, piece of literature. Uh, Batchi sprang on back door and they fought rolling on the ground. These are the two cup tigers. He has given a name Batchi for one and the other one is Wag Door for the other. The noisy snarls and roars made Elsa restless. Elsa is the eldest one who always goes for balancing between the two tigers. And uh, one thing that we have to do is we also have to make a lot of noisy snarls and roars to essentially keep our governments restless when it comes to conservation. We have to do a lot on that. Uh, in page 76 of this textbook he is given, teaching was my childhood dream. Explaining the importance of biodiversity to the next generation is one of the most important aspects of animal conservation. A statement uh, that he says to Sylvia, the research leader, I think it's uh, what he has wanted to convey to uh, the readers who read this book. Uh, these lines help us to understand the writer's passion for, the, for preserving our great environment. The fire came over, in page 83, he says, the fire, the fire came over closer. He looked at his family for the last time, and a flag of fire engulfed him. Well, uh, this is a moment of sadness too. Uh, you know, when you read a story, you have all the happy times and the sad times. And I was really taken up by these wonderful lines, how he had a, a, you know, a touch of uh, sorrow in that, that he's reflecting. Uh, when he talks about, you know, uh, bipeds, you know, the tiger, the father tiger, his name is Zali, he makes a statement. Bipeds are just orangutan. Uh, orangutans like creatures who do not live in the jungles and who thoughtlessly destroy our homes. Well, through the words of the tiger, we need to understand as human beings what the tiger is telling to us. That is what uh, the author has tried to convey through these lines. They have neither claws nor teeth, but they have other weapons. They use death's hand, killer claws, noisy assassins and other things. It shows the futility of us, the human beings, beautifully reflected in these lines. Man's destruction. Well, of course, uh, if you look at the website, sometimes uh, some websites they're the most dangerous animal. They give a list, you know. They start from ten and they go up ten, up to one, and the and then they show a human face and they say the most dangerous animal. Well, it's a very nice reflection uh, the author has made. I don't know for what damn reason they they need to kill us. They are doing it without knowing the repercussions. Well, that's an alarm. That's an alert that the author is trying to tell the human society that when we uh, go for destroying all our nature, it is going to uh, come back on us. That is what we see through all the climate change effects that we are seeing today. For all tigers, including me, bipeds are the most feared enemies. Finally, the animals come to the conclusion the most feared enemies are human beings. Words like wave blocker, enclosed asylum, mobile den, food bomb. I was wondering, 14 years old boy, so good in his diction. He has coined beautiful compound words and it was uh, uh, enlightening me to what extent he has been an oracious reader, extensively reading a lot and putting his best into the book. The large white tusks of the behemoth were missing. This shows what happened to one of the elephants. As Nam mentioned, there were a herd of elephants that were really crying, taken up with a sense of grief because they had lost one among the herd. 
that theme also uh, takes us to a sense of sorrow and sadness. And uh, after the herds leave, Zalim, the tiger, comes to the scene and he is uh, looking at the carcass and what he finds is the tusks have been removed, which is a clear indication that poachers would have killed the wild elephant. So it's a clear indication that man has no scruples, man has behaved in an unscrupulous way. And that is what uh, the author is trying to express through these lines. He says, a biped without a weapon is the weakest prey in the world. He also tells the human uh, how life is frail for us human beings and we need to realize that we have to respect and conserve our nature. There is one line here where he mentions about a person called Kumala who says, I showed no mercy to a tiger trapped in a snare, starving to death, but now I burst into tears when I see a dead tiger. I think this transformation is essential for many of us to ensure that our planet Earth is very safe. I can keep going on. It's a wonderful 191 pages, 30 chapters, a beautiful, beautifully written book. If I would like to state, the writer has good sense of the reader's expectations, the knowledge and awareness of conventions of writing, the appropriate tone, level of vocabulary, kind and placement of evidence generally is excellent. The focus of the topic, its logical sequence, organization, and keeping the reader filled with the feel of what's next is excellent. The presence of the focus is clearly and explicitly determined in the light of the method of development chosen by the writer. Organization is towards a clear progression as the plot is slowly un unraveled. The writer here has established to the reader a well-organized composition which visibly shows the purpose through the development of elements forming an effective beginning, middle and end. It is unified and very complete. There are no repetitions of paraphrasing of the same point. The correctness in sentence formation usage in mechanics is perfect. The style is appropriate to the purpose. It is evident to the choice of words and sentence fluency. But the writer has taken the best efforts to add the thriller generally by keeping the reader on the edge of their seats. I am very thankful to you for that. It really took me. There is a time limit face and a clicking clock dynamic place on the characters. I, I really love it. When you read the novel, you know that. A clear and detailed location with vivid descriptions of the forest and the wild animals give us a lasting impact of having explored the beautiful jungles that we may have never seen. The action-adventure elements keeps the storyline moving and from the first page until the end. When something terrible is about to happen, there is a postponement to sustain the suspense. I really love that. The element of nature is clearly evident in beautiful descriptions of the pages of this book, Fire of uh, I would like to conclude with the words of uh, one chief Seattle uh, who wrote a letter to the US president uh, when the president uh, of the United States, the late President uh, Franklin Pierce, he wanted to, uh, you know, buy the territories of these Native Americans. And in his conclusion, he stated, the great nature has intended us to earn our bread. I'm uh, sorry. The earth does not belong to man, men. Men belong to the earth. What befalls the earth befalls all the sons of the earth. Fire, fire of Sumatra is yet another eye-opener to us, the sons of the earth, that it is high time we mend our ways and do our best to save planet by protecting our ecosystem, wildlife and all bi biodiversities and to save it for our future generations. And in the words of Mahatma Gandhi, the great nature has intended us to earn our bread by the sweat of our brow. I venture to suggest that it is the fundamental law of nature, without exception, that nature produces enough for our wants from day to day. And if only everybody took for himself and nothing more, there would be no pauperism in this world. There would be no dying of starvation in this world. And with this, I would like to conclude my short review of this from the very words that Ramana has written. 
There are just a few suggestions. These are the last lines from the text of uh, Kailash. Uh, there are just few suggestions that we can follow and enforce as nations. Not only Sumatran tigers, but tiger populations all over the world are threatened. And if we join our hands to save nature, we can bring drastic changes. I admit that there are several measures to be followed to save tigers and their habitats. But until we enforce important sets of rules, the destructive fire of Sumatra will rage on. Thank you for this wonderful message. May God bestow you with more wisdom and more knowledge. I strongly believe that you would be the uh, icon like uh, Greta Thunberg, who was, who is from the West. I think it is Ramana Kailesh from the East who is going to tell to the future what we have to do with our planet God. Thank you and God bless. So, 